Howdy folks! Welcome back to Black Mountain. We've got a lot to catch up on. Stay for mid-spring. Didn't really ever have much snow over the winter. It was a pretty mild winter as far as snow went. It got pretty cold. Uh, but never got more than, I'd say, six inches of snow. And the cows are gone. All that's left is a little pile of manure. Oh, and I got this nice big new cow barn over here too. <laughs> so, uh, lots of big changes. I've been moving the manure over. Remember the old one? The old uh, stall was. I got the stall torn down. And I got this new one built. We've been spending a lot of money. Where did I get that money? Well, I ended up clearing all those dead trees off that hill over there. Got those all sold. And uh, got a, a pretty decent profit from that. Sold some of the materials from the uh, old cow barn, the, mainly just the cinder blocks. And got this nice new thing built here. And you can see there's a there's a trench here. What I've, what I've done is I've got a guy running pipes. See, it goes right through the cow pasture. We're going to have uh, plumbing. So I don't have to cart water all over the place all the time. I've already got it ran to the horses. And uh, he's going to finish up probably later this evening. Get the rest of that in, put up, and then we'll just have water right here at the trough. And it's going to be buried nice and deep so it shouldn't freeze up. Should be good. We'll see. Seems like a good design. So I've been moving the manure from the old pile over to the new pile. Now I'll go show you here. We got, uh, we got a little pump house down here by the pond. All the pipes in, so just got to finish up the valve and whatnot. Got a big old batch of salads there. I need to get moved over to the shelter. Lots of hay in the barn, I think. Let's go take a look here. How'd we end up after all that? So... I can never remember which one of these is which. <laughs> is that hay and that straw, or is it the other way around? Uh, I honestly can't remember, unfortunately. I'll have to go check the barn. I wish they would, you know, use words, but I guess that's too hard. But anyway, we've got a lot of hay and straw, and we've got a lot of silage. So my plan is to take uh, what little money I have left, and we're going to just invest in cows. Or maybe bulls. Can't quite decide. I kind of like the milk cows. They're easy to deal with. The problem is it takes about two years for them to get going. By the time two years has gone by, you could sell a beef and make some money. Whereas your uh, milk cow is just starting to get to get going. So, I don't know. We're going to buy some, though. Probably mid-summer looks like it would be about the best time to buy. So I'm going to see what else I can do to maybe make some money around here. But in the meantime, top and the old John Deere here. I did get the paint uh, paint on the weight. So the tractor's looking spiffy. I still I need to get the uh, the front loader arms painted. They're they're a little bit worn, not too bad, but a little bit worn. So slowly getting this old John Deere looking pretty decent. So the plan is, I'm going to get this manure moved, and then I'm going to plow up uh, where the old cow barn was. And just make this one giant grass field. So instead of two, we're just going to have one one giant one. That seemed to work out pretty well. I know this barn's a little further from the pond. Uh, but it seemed to just kind of fit right over here in the corner. And then we could have just one grass field instead of a split one. So that's the plan for the next couple days. The soil temps up. It's not frozen anymore. So we've got a lot done here in just the last couple days. Most of the winter time, there was just nothing going on, so I didn't really bring y'all in. It was just kind of me doing chores every day and thinking about what I wanted to do. That is about it. But we've got a lot to do now. I do need to check the cows. I had a little bit of water in there. You can always go get the water wagon if we need to. I think he went to town to get a gasket or something. He's going to have that valve finished up, hopefully by this evening. I 
You'd think you'd come prepared out here in the mountains, but yeah, stuff happens. You need to something in town. He'll be back. At least we got the horse pipe up. So we're moving poo and then we're gonna do a little plowing. Then I got a lot of silage to move as well. Kind of spent more than I wanted to on this cow barn, but you know, it is, it is just a nice new cow barn. It's kind of hard to argue with that. It's got all the amenities, nice new milking machine, all that good stuff. Speaking of milk, we do have four or 5,000 liters of milk. So I may end up scrubbing out the uh, the water tanker. See if we can get up get up to uh, food spec, haul milk. If not, I might see about maybe getting the tank for the the pickup, because we don't have a whole lot of milk. We'll see. I'm excited though. It's it's spring. We're having good weather, and uh, I got lots of plans here for the farm. Got plenty of food, so we're just going to buy as many cows as we can. We're going to put some oats in the field for the horses, and we'll have some oats to sell. Things are just looking pretty good here on the homestead. And I can't remember what episode this is going to be as I recorded. 38, 39, somewhere in there. I don't know how we're going to wrap up this series. Uh, I do want to get a decent sized cattle operation going up here. But we will eventually call it quits and move on to something else. But for now I'm still having a good time making a farm up here and customizing it. I almost pulled the trigger on the cute little Kubota tractor. Be a great little chore tractor for up here. But then I wouldn't have had any money for cows. And that's kind of the whole point is to have some cows up here. Alright, that is all the manure. I need to get uh, some of this gravel out of here. Looks like I got a little bit of spilled food there. <laughs> That last cow barn was not ideal. I liked the look of it, but functional it was functionally it was a little weird. Um that's silage. I think I can just dump that in their trough. Let's go around this way though. So we kind of snuck it in right here next to the road. We just kind of left everything laying around, didn't he? Oh well, that'll get sorted. Got the trailer there ready to go when it's time to build. Let's see if I can just... Can I dump this in here? I know I just had this full of... Some kind of ghost making the, the mixer wagon go. This action cannot be performed here. Too late. I don't know where that silage went. Apparently it's not in my bucket anymore. So I need to do a little bit of grass uh, planting here and there. This place trimmed up, but it's not looking too bad. So the manure is moved. Tell you what, I'm going to move this gravel. Probably put it over uh, around the house driveway. And then I'm going to get the uh, probably the combi plow out. Start doing some plows. So I'm going to do that, and uh, I'll be back here in just a bit. All right, we're back, folks. So I've got the gravel moved. Uh, I think I'm going to start right here with the cob plow. And we're just going to kind of come out here pretty close to the road. Just round this out. 
Something like so. I'll probably leave that over there. It's just wild grass. Having a, having a tractor with some power sure is nice. I, li I like that little Massey. Uh, but this thing's just got it all beat as far as power goes. So, something like that. I'll just, uh, we'll get this roughed in. Then I've got the cultivator over there to bust up the clods and stuff. So, let's take a pass. Across here. A little bit rough through here. I might have to see if I can get that bladed down a bit. I do like this combi plow. It works pretty well up here in this kind of somewhat rocky, sandy soil. We'll pretend like there's soil up here. <laughs> sure, Hoot will be all over me. There's no way you could plow that. It's okay. This is the pretend Black Mountain. It's not the real one. In my version, we can grow stuff up here. those that don't know, Hoot is the author of this map. And he's actually shared a, several pictures on um, a Discord of the real-life Black Mountain. Pretty cool. And this farm sim version, due to limitations of the game, is only about a third as high as the real one. So those mountain roads coming up here are three times steeper in real life. Pretty crazy to think about. Spend half my time turning around here. It's much for my nice clean tractor. <laughs> I knew that wouldn't last. Looks good though, looks sharp with that new paint job. I'm going to go back and forth. I'm going to get the rest of this plowed in. And then we'll throw a cultivator at it. And then I think the grass seed I've got, you could plant at pretty much any temperature. So we might end up just throwing some grass on today. And it'll grow whenever it uh, gets a chance. So uh, once again, I'll be back in just a little bit. Alright, soil's looking pretty good. This last little row right here. Just make sure it's busted up good. Then we're going to go get the, uh, the cedar. Get some grass seed done. Yeah, I think we'll call that good. Can actually carry these both at the same time. I hook the combi plow up first. Whoa, easy. 
Brakes, like I said, are not the, not the best. Those wheels down. I had these up in the other shed. I'll take those up later. We'll at least get them down here. This is where the cedar is. And naturally it's behind a bunch of stuff. But I reckon we're going to need some lime on that freshly plowed. That's usually the way it works. Ooh, we've got fertilizer in here. Do I have any lime? Oh, you know what? I may not have any lime up here. Now that I think about it. No, we'll go throw some dry fertilizer on it. I'll have to get some lime next time I'm down in town. I need to figure out a way to get that up here in bulk. Somewhere to put it. I don't have any kind of like holding tank or anything that would hold lime. So to help the grass grow. That's a little bit back there, but that's alright. We're going to call that good. Try not to drive off the side of the mountain. I guess really I ought to put lime down before I plant, so... I don't know. If I had lime, where would I have put it? I'm trying to remember, we did... Oh yeah, it's over there on the trailer, isn't it? It's like, we did lime in the other field, and we had some left over. Yeah, I think it's over here on the trailer. So, let me magically poop out a pallet. Because that's a thing. I do have lime. Can I spread lime on top of... Uh-oh. What happened here? Can I spread lime on top of the fertilizer? Apparently pallets move when you're not around. Eh, that'll probably be enough. Take the shortcut. <laughs> Wee. A bit rough right in there. Slowly get these rough spots smoothed out. Oh yeah. Look at that. Goes on beautiful. Kinda curious though. Let's go take a look at our field report. Needs lime. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Why is that multiple stages? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Farm seems weird. Uh, apparently, if you spread lime, it takes away the... Or no, it wasn't lined up with the fertilizer, was it? I don't know. That was where the cow pen was. I don't know. The cows were there. They pooped on the grass. That was not enough lime. Beautiful. 
Sure, that'll be enough. Slow down. Let's drive right back up through the middle here like nothing. I knew I should have filled this up. I didn't listen to that little voice that said, hey, you should fill that up. All right, we'll shoot some lime down the middle. Doing my usual bang up job of getting the full coverage. All right. You have been limed. Now, how's our field report look as far as... So, why is... Why is that in the middle better? I don't know. Who knows? No, I sure don't. All right, that's cultivated. One stage of fart. Maybe somebody in the comments will sort me out. I don't know what's going on. Just gonna gently nudge that back into the shed. No room to unload. There we go. All right, we're going to have to sort all this out. We're making a big giant mess, but we're going to get some grass planted. It's the last thing we do this episode. It will be the last thing we do this episode. All right, now we can get back in there and get the cedar. Cedar does have seed in it, so that's good. And we want grass, so we're going to set the magic seed selector to grass. Bad here, birds. Don't eat my seed. I messed up that corner a little bit. Don't worry. We'll be back for that part. just drive up the tree. Thought I was clear of the tree. Apparently I was wrong.
Move you all straight across, and then we'll sort it out. Looking good. Alrighty, well, I'm going to finish planting this grass. Uh, I'm going to check on the water guy. And that'll be it for today. And we'll see how things go. We've got uh, chores to do every day, of course. Kind of wait until... Probably midsummer, I think. Let's let's just check the prices actually real quick. Bring that up. So if we we're gonna buy the limousine, yeah, right right about midsummer. Be a good time to buy. So we're kinda kinda waiting on those. Now that's gonna be more of these. Yeah, they're they're also it's like the cows all follow pretty much the same pattern. So, we'll be buying some, uh, probably some beefers midsummer. And a few other little things around here we want to do. So, we'll see what's shaking next episode. That is going to be it for this one. We'll plant grass, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.